7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What are you making, Mr. Barman? Around here, we're about surprises. So. Oh, really? Okay. So he likes to make these surprise oh, drinks. Yeah. <clears throat> you might make it home in one piece. You might go don't to Togo. Me. Whatever you do. So where are you sending her to today? <laughs> Somewhere tropical. You know, with that color. She needs, so where we should get it time. The good thing is, he's going to put fruit. And you know you're very healthy and everything. So him putting fruit means that's like one of your five a day. And then the shots. How many shots? That Just alone two. has killed That's it. That's been surprising. That has killed yes. it. So the shots will so basically what bring out the flavor. Should I get you the same thing? What yes, please. Yes, please. But please make mine a bit weaker. Because I know the way you like to be quite heavy handed. Oh, I'm and everything. driving, by the way. So please. Yes. So she wants to drive back to her house and not to Togo. In one piece, please. Not to Togo, like your other cocktails do. <laughs> did that guy was send it to Togo, did he ever make it there? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> you Goodness sent me. someone to Togo. Um, I was just telling him about my friend who got, um, she's planning a wedding. Okay. And her dress is super, super expensive. Super expensive, and she's now looking for money to buy that dress. Is she rich? Well, she doesn't have enough money for the dress, basically. So she's borrowing money to buy I the think, dress? She, yes, yes, she plans to borrow money. And I remember for my wedding, I was so surprised when I saw the budget. I was just like, what? And it was really painful for me because I've always wanted to, I always wanted to elope. I always wanted to like go to, <laughs> go to Vegas yeah, and have like just, Elvis yeah, and I have a few people. <laughs> but of course my family, yeah, they were at, like not absolutely not, absolutely not. <laughs> and if you think about it over the last few years, the cost of weddings, especially in Nigeria, ridiculous. And it's almost like if you don't spend the money, it's like a big, it's a big deal. I remember when I was um, checking the bill and everything, the budget, and how much was going towards food. I was like, during my wedding, after I've done the, you know, all the, all the different things I need to do, mm -hmm. I'm going to go around the hall, and anybody that doesn't finish their food, <laughs> I will say, would you like to take that home with you? Because our food is very expensive. So please, we can get somebody to wrap it up and take it home, and uh, let you take it home. Oh, so that's what I was mean? planning to do. You remind me of Nicole Kidman, so we're calling this oh, the Moulin Rouge. The oh Moulin. my goodness. I, this is, this, I'm actually very proud of you. This is fantastic. Well done. Thank you. Sip, sip with care. Hey ladies. Hi. 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 We've been waiting Hello. for you for 45 <laughs> minutes now. <laughs> Guys, I'm tired. What happens? Not tired from the traffic. But tired because I just got a text message from a family friend yes. who's getting married and the Ashwabi is 50,000 naira. We were just talking about weddings. What is it? I, I was saying that my friend is about to get married and her dress is too expensive. She's looking for money to buy her dress. Your friend is the bride. She's the bride. <laughs> I am not the bride. Why would you send me a message for to buy your Ashwabi for 50,000 naira? And you know the tricky part. Her cousin, my friend's cousin, is also getting married in the same month. That's actually and the problem. And her is 40,000 So I'm supposed to cough out 90,000 for what? So, so, so what's, what's the most expensive you would actually, the most, the most amount of money you would pay towards Ashwabi? If we're very close, I would buy it. Like, even if it was very mm. expensive, I would buy it. Because it's a once in a lifetime yeah. thing. But if we're very close, then you must be able to reason like me. And I know you wouldn't, you wouldn't, your Ashwabi shouldn't cost a fortune. The annoying thing it's is you only wear this once. Once, and that's it. That's the bad thing. It's so annoying. You can't wear See, it anywhere somebody, else. as much as, that's so one thing I've actually realised. Huh? What's this? Is this, a, is this a virgin Moulin Rouge? It's a virgin Moulin Rouge, right? Yeah, it's like Moulin Rouge just without the Nicole Kidman. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so it's without the Nicole, <laughs> without Nicole Kidman. That's what he said. <laughs> so it's like Moulin Rouge with Genevieve Nadia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this should taste nice. It's, it's okay. a bartender. How much would you, what's the most expensive, you'd, uh, the, the most amount of money you would spend on Ashobi? 
your good friends get married and he says, okay, I should be like 75k. But guys, you can't be the filler now. All they get is now, the guys do the whole tie shoes, the whole thing. Yeah, we watch. No, the traditional attire, they do. Yeah, or like the whole thing. Which is like 50k, 40k. Yes, yes, that's true. Like Bada, the complete. Because for good friends, for close friends or people that want to, there's always, because my husband did that as well. He had like, there's like special lace or something if you want to. For your closest friends. Yes, for your close friends or people that just you know sort of ask and everything so you wouldn't if this was like your best friend your guy you would so if they, they said like you wouldn't buy it for, for how much like i don't know okay let's say 50k 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 yes <laughs> to come to wedding so in fact i'll drop out in my house i'm telling you i will watch his wedding on instagram Fifty thousand now uh, for clothes that i wear once <laughs> but you, the good thing about you guys you can always wear your bad again you no know? Okay, yeah, fine, okay. That makes sense. But the thing is that it will anytime I see it, I will look at the clothes as something that I bought for fifty K. You know how like somebody scars you and <laughs> you just you, like and you hate the person you for they drug me. I will look at dresses and like I spent fifty thousand on it. <laughs> So wait, there was this. I just remember now. There was this story I heard. Uh, there was this couple. They wanted to do this fantastic wedding, and they didn't have the budget. So what they did was they sent messages to the people on their train, saying, "Okay, we want to have this fantastic wedding. We are a bit out of budget because of the economy and everything. We would like for you guys to donate money towards our wedding." God forbid. <laughs> really? <laughs> just like that? Would you? My father. My so father. So if they, if they said <laughs> we would like for you all to, I don't know, donate like two hundred and fifty k each. No. But what is that's, all that? No, that's Why? rubbish. You know what? If you are getting married and I feel I'm close to you, mm. then I can give you an envelope later, a check. As that usually know, comes later. That comes anyway. later. Yeah. Well, you yeah can't after the wedding. Tell but me you to can't raise money for you plan to plan your married. wedding. Based are you my on? child? But they're like, this no, is no, the no. wedding of our dreams. For what? If you love us, you want this to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, go back to sleep. So absolutely, absolutely not. It's never. <laughs> but that never. happens. It depends that happens. on who, though. It depends on who. If it you're is. close to me, mm. if you're my friend, family. If you're my family or friend, you will never do more than yourself. You will not, as as I say, you will not do past yourself. Mm. Why are you raising money to to? <laughs> Borrowing money. How about now? No, yeah, raise it. This is the so your pictures can be on the sides, everything. Because they want to be on Bella Niger weddings. <laughs> <laughs> Borrowing money. <laughs> but I, I, I don't think that if you don't have money, you shouldn't get married. But I think you should. What is it? Cut you should your do clothes. it according, according to, to your, your clothes. Hair. Exactly. Mm-hmm. The hair. That's, yes. that's, that's it. That's what you should do. You should do that. I think it's very, because very important. Because what next? I mean, like... The, the wedding there's, is one deal. There's no That's point having a super expensive <laughs> wedding and then you guys are now just having to squat in someone's BQ. That's ridiculous. Oh, you're living, oh, you're oh, you're living to your husband. Do you understand? I think it's, ridi- I think it's no, ridiculous. So, um, there are lots of people that will have a super, super extravagant weddings. Um, from my point of view, I, f- I think some people might say that mine was extravagant. I think I had a lot of people. I, had, I was actually scared at one point. But... I was reluctant to spend that much because I was thinking I know what I could do with this money, but then how do you how do you handle it if you you're you're dealing with your family and they're like it has to be done a certain way. So that's usually the problem, actually. Yeah, that, that is the issue. That's that's, that's the Most sort of that's pressure. that's the issue that a family lot of people pressure, face. Yeah. You might want something a bit small. small. Most of my friends, most of my friends have got married in the last um, few months. They have basically wanted something smaller, but. It was it's a case of family. no one can cons- afford it. Let them do it now, but not the one that you will now be the one mm. looking for money. Or, Even if your parents can begging, afford it, you can use you could use that money. No, no, no. <clears> I'm, not, I'm, I'm not talking about the extravagant mm. weddings. I'm talking about the normal weddings mm. where they want to send because it's like a send forth, especially mm. Yoruba people. Yeah. Yoruba people are the ones. If if you're a Yoruba bride, your parents are the ones that would put down money and do everything mm. that's how yeah, it's supposed they, they to be that's how cost, it's meant to be yeah. so you know that's that's like their own send forth mm. so if they can do it without overdoing it yeah. then it's good another thing is i think it also depends on what you do mm. like I'll, I'll use myself as an example when i did my my wedding in ghana a lot of people complained they were people hated me that i didn't invite them you just run away and it, 
because of what I mm. do, mm. you know. Yeah. So there's like you have to invite everyone, everyone. in the industry, mm -hmm. otherwise they feel like you have some kind of beef with them. So I, I agree with you yeah. because I still have some like residual beef. <laughs> and I was like, I couldn't even think straight during my wedding. I was just yeah. there's so many different things. There's so many different things. But I think there is this pressure. There's a there's a lot of pressure. I've had um, one or two messages from people I've never I don't know who they are. And they'll be like, I'm getting married in a few weeks. We've paid for this, we've paid for that, but we, we really need some more money. Can you help? Mm -hmm. These are people that I don't know. Why are they sending you messages I don't, like that? Because so they're I, trying to raise money for their wedding. So are they family? No, it's an, I don't know them. I don't know them. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. So there's, there's a part of me that's thinking, okay, I know you know the pressures of it, but I'm like, I don't know you. It's a bit weird. Like It's not like you're saying, oh, I need to raise money for an operation. I need to raise money for this. I need to raise money for my wedding. Why don't you just make it a bit smaller? So I don't understand why there's so much pressure, especially in our country, to do super, super, super extravagant weddings. Because if people I, leave fake lives. People, people are very fake. Yeah. A lot of people are very superficial. Yeah. They try to portray yes. themselves in one manner, and they're really not You're as right. rich as yeah. that. So people just try to show off when there's really exactly. nothing. Exactly. And you know, it's 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 sad because the younger ones are growing up with that mentality yeah. where they think that oh people are I'm a shine this way I'm a shine I'm a shine I'm a shine you know everyone just wants to shine and everyone wants to outshine the other person they're like okay tools got married last weekend and she had her wedding here and it was like this oh my wedding is going to be bigger than that meanwhile you don't even have the money nowadays mm. nobody wants to take money. any holes on the mainland uh, everybody yeah. wants to be even on people the that live in Ajambadi <laughs> When they are getting married, <laughs> they come to, to the, the island. island. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about um, pre-wedding shoots. What's the craziest thing you've seen? Oh. I remember when I got married then. It was only high five. Thank God. Thank God. There was no crazy Instagram or Twitter. But did you do like pre-wedding pictures and well, everything? Well, we did pre-wedding pictures. And they were supposed to be used for the jotas and all the souvenirs. Mm. But we didn't even end up using them. Mm. But it was supposed to be for the stickers and all the things for the souvenirs that we were giving out. But then nowadays, pre-wedding pictures. You, have you see them dabbing. The ones that I saw, they were they were they were up in the ceiling, <laughs> and I don't know how they did it. She was like floating. She was floating. She had this massive dress, and she was kind of floating. And he was just looking up to her like, oh, "My bride, my oh, this is my God. bride." This is, this and I just really not like, that serious. Though. It's it's but at the same time, I feel that there's some people that this is something they've been waiting for for like such a long time or this is something they've yeah. been looking forward to so i don't want to knock people that want to send yeah. yeah i wasn't going to do any pre-wedding pictures i actually wasn't going to and i actually ended up bowing to pressure because i was like i don't want to do that i just don't that's not really me <laughs> i don't want to kind of you know be everywhere because i was like this is something special and with things like this i think it's very important for you to protect you know, like your relationships, yes. marriages, yeah, and for you not to have everybody in your business. Yeah. So I wasn't going to do it. And gradually, people were just like, have you done a shoot? Have you done it? I'm like, well, I'm not doing What? You're not doing it? How come? This isn't this, this. So in the end, I had to, um, I spoke to my husband, and that was his first photo shoot ever. No And it was, way. yeah, it was, it was kind of painful. No. It was kind of painful. <laughs> so afterwards, Aww. afterwards, I was just like, okay, so we, I think we ended it early, because he just was like, I can't do I this can't anymore. Do I can't do this anymore. <laughs> And after a while, I mean, we had a bit of fun, but it's it's something that I probably wouldn't do again. Mm. Or if I did it, I wouldn't put the pictures out there. So well, if I'm getting married to some girl, do I have to do that? Thing? If she if she wants she to do if she it, wants to do it, it you better believe it. you have to. Say no. No. no, you can't say no. no. Let me tell you, as a groom, you don't really have <laughs> much of a really just focus on showing up there. Next I don't have much of it. You don't have much of a say, really. Your, your job is just to show up there. And then what you want. This is what you're told to it's wear. What and then always that's it. Want it. Why like are you doing happens, this to me? Do then what do you do? It just feels like my job all the time. You just have to do it. It's, it's, it's really, I think it's really for the bride. But then there are some grooms that are very, you know, mm -hmm. no, we should do this, we should yeah. do that, we should. But generally, most of the couples I know, the guy's just been like, okay, when Whatever do I need to want. show up? Mm -hmm. What time? Yeah. What am I wearing? And that's it. Ladies, please allow to know. Why do we always have to? dance to come into the into the reception why what is isn't there anything else you can there? run inside would you add it no. as opposed to <laughs> you have to dance you can now. run you it's, a, dance. it's a joyous you joyous day it's a happy day because some people are not really into it you know when you have the so what do you, you just want to what do you want to do run or walk yeah, yeah, I mean, I, my you want to crawl i want to perform i want to be on the stage me the bride i'm very musical me the bride 
You do that. Maybe our, our favorite songs. I don't want to dance inside. I find yeah, you could do that. You could do that afterwards. This is the entrance, mm -hmm. right? And then you go, you sit down, and then at some point at the reception, then you, you do your, perform. you know, yeah. So my boss has been the calling boss. me every two days to come for long. Oh, goodness. Okay. I think I have to go. All right. Aww. Ladies, last drinks, last drinks. Mm -hmm. Let's do last drinks before I, I have to dash off. So bottom line, are you going to actually pay the money for this, baby?